Hello, my name is Baburaj PV with Avaya DDE team. This video is about the step-by-step -step procedure to resolve the license issues with Modular Messaging 5.2. The first step is to ensure that the license file is created by using the MAC address of Corporate Ethernet Interface of Messaging Application Server. Follow the procedure mentioned on the screen to find out the corporate MAC address. The second step is to ensure that the Tomcat service is running and set to automatic. Third step is to ensure that the license URL and port is correctly entered in the licensing tab in VMSC. Fourth step is copy paste the license URL from licensing tab in VMSC to a web browser and verify that you can log into WebLM and also view the installed licenses. In case the license status is in error or restricted mode, it won't allow to add or modify the mailboxes. You may get an error 3504 while doing that. Then we need to make sure that the certificates CA.txt and X509.txt are present in Internet Information Services. To verify the certificates, I have logged into Messaging Application Server. Click on Start, select Run. Type INET MGR, click OK, the IAS Manager console will open, expand Hostname tab, expand Websites tab, expand MM underscore Licensing Service tab, click on Licensing Certificates. On the right hand side, you can see the CA.txt and X509.txt. If the certificates are missing, we need to recreate it. To recreate the certificate, I have logged into the messaging application server. Open the scripts folder under Avaya underscore support, which is under C drive. Find the file, create and install cert.cmd and verify the file size. If it is less than 32 KB, say 29 KB, contact Avaya support and obtain the correct file. Once you have the new file, Rename the old file and place the new one in the same folder. Find the recreate licensing service dot VBS script and double click on it. You won't see any visual indication. It runs quickly in the background. Verify the certificate in IAS console as explained earlier. Also verify the license status in licensing tab. Now it should be normal. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.